Hat, sunglasses, Pepsi, notes, sources, thick skin, check. You already know. Let's go. Golden Blooded is a college football YouTube channel for entertainment. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And let's get into our next college football video. Don't forget to send gear to represent your team. The address is P.O. Box 360, Liberty South Carolina 29657. It's time to talk about the future of the Big Ten. Scheduling in specific. Because remember, USC and UCLA are headed to the Big Ten. And on top of that... The Big Ten is discussing and said, yeah, we're probably going to do away with divisions. So they need to come up with a format as far as scheduling in the future. And from my understanding, what's going to happen is each team is going to have three protected games, and then they'll rotate between two groups of six teams. So nobody will go more than one year without playing a particular team. I think that's a good setup. That makes sure that everybody plays everybody at least every other year. I like it. I wish everybody would do that. I mean, look at the ACC. Some of those teams don't play each other for like seven, eight, nine, ten years. It, it gets to be a big gap. So I like what the Big Ten's doing. I hope that's the actual plan because that sounds like a really good plan. Now, I saw a video that Mark Rogers, the voice of college football, did about this very subject. And I watched that video and I thought it was very interesting. Which, by the way, if you're not subscribed to Mark Rogers, the voice of college football, go check out his YouTube channel. He has some great videos over there. In fact, me and Mark Rogers, we collaborate a lot. And one of our collaborations was actually yesterday when we did an interview on the new athletic director, Ren Baker for West Virginia. So go check out that video. I'll leave the link to that video in the description of this video. So go check it out and subscribe to the West Virginia channel. Even if you're not a West Virginia fan, we're just trying to get it to a thousand subscribers. All right, let's get back to the Big Ten and the scheduling. So I want to compare what Mark did as far as the protected three games and then give you my opinion and then let you decide which one you think is better. And this is not some type of competition or anything like that. Nobody's right and nobody's wrong. I just like comparing my thoughts to what Mark had to say about this. So first up, we'll look at the protected games for each team according to Mark Rogers. It's not bad. I will tell him that it is it is not bad. First up, of course, Ohio State. And the three protected games that Mark Rogers has for Ohio State, Michigan, of course, no brainer. That's one of the best rivalries in all of college football. Penn State, that's also a strong rivalry. And Indiana, that one's a little interesting. Maybe there's some history there between Ohio State and Indiana that I'm not aware of. But yeah, Indiana and Ohio State, that one kind of caught me off guard just a little bit. Next team. Michigan, of course, protected rivalries according to Mark Rogers. Ohio State, duh, one of the best rivalries in all of college football. Michigan State, in-state rivalry, of course, you have to protect that. And Rutgers? Yeah, that one kind of caught me off guard as well. So maybe he's just trying to find matchups for these teams that really don't have any rivalries because Rutgers is fairly new to the Big Ten and they, they really don't have any real rivalries. Next up, Michigan State. The three protected games according to Mark Rogers, Michigan, of course, in-state rivalry. Maryland, that one's interesting. And Purdue. I can go along with Purdue, but the Maryland one, that, that's a little weird. But, I'm, you know, it's not that bad. Next up is Penn State. Penn State's three protected games, according to Mark Rogers. Maryland, okay, I, I, I'm good with that. That's a border rivalry. Ohio State, yes, that's a good one. And Rutgers. Maybe it's because of the distance and the close proximity. Other than that, that really doesn't make that much sense. Next Next team is Maryland. Their three protected games, according to Mark Rogers, Penn State, okay, border rivalry, I'm good with that. Rutgers, that's making the best out of a bad situation. I'm good with that as well. And then, of course, Michigan State. That's the one that's kind of weird, but okay, I'll, I'll, I'll roll with that. Next team is Indiana. Three protected rivalries. Purdue, okay, that's okay. Ohio State, that's the one that's a little bit of a head scratcher. And then Northwestern, once again, might be trying to make the the best out of a bad situation. The next team is, of course, Rutgers. Rutgers really don't have any real rivalries, but the three protected games for Mark Rogers would be Maryland, making the best out of a bad situation, Penn State, close proximity, I guess, and then Michigan. That's, that's the one that I really don't understand. But then the next team, Minnesota, three protected rivalries. Wisconsin, uh-huh, great rivalry right there. Iowa, I'm good with that. And 
Purdue. There's one glaring rivalry with Minnesota that's missing, and I'll get to that when I get to my list. But overall, I'm okay with Minnesota's three protected games. Next up is Iowa. Their three protected games, according to Mark Rogers, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Nebraska. Overall, that's good. They have a decent rivalry with Minnesota, a good rivalry with Wisconsin, and a budding good rivalry with Nebraska. And remember, Nebraska doesn't have any great rivalries in the Big Ten, so I'm good with that as well. Next up is... Illinois. Of course you have to have Northwestern and Mark Rogers does have Northwestern as one of their three protected games. That's an in-state rivalry. UCLA, that might be making the best out of a bad situation because UCLA has zero rivalries in the Big Ten. And then of course, Nebraska. I'm okay with that. They're in close proximity and besides Iowa, Nebraska doesn't have any good rivalries or even any budding rivalries in the Big Ten. Next up is Purdue. First rivalry, in-state Indiana. Of course, I agree with Mark Rogers on this one. Minnesota, I'm good with that. And Michigan State, that is a good rivalry. I agree with that one as well. Wisconsin is the next team. The first game that he has protected is Minnesota. Great rivalry. 100% agree with Mark Rogers on that one. Then Iowa, another good rivalry. I'm good with that. And then UCLA, Again, might just be making the best out of a bad situation. The next team is Northwestern. Northwestern is really, really tricky. So for Northwestern, of course, the in-state rivalry, Illinois, I'm good with that. Indiana, I'm good with that as well. And then USC, making the best out of a bad situation, trying to keep two of their protected games as far as USC and UCLA as close as possible instead of going out to the East Coast. So I'm good with that. The next team is Nebraska. So Nebraska's three protected games, according to Mark Rogers. Iowa, that's a good budding rivalry. USC. So Nebraska and USC are close in proximity or closer than most people and it's two big brands. I think that game would bring in a lot of money for the Big Ten. I am good with protecting that game. And then finally for Nebraska, Illinois. Finally, the two teams from the West Coast. USC, three protected games according to Mark Rogers. Usually, of course, you have to protect that one. Nebraska, proximity and two big brands will make the Big Ten a lot of money. I'm good with that one as well. And then Northwestern making the best out of a bad situation and trying to keep it close proximity with USC. I'm good with that as well. Finally, UCLA. Well, you have to protect USC and that's exactly what Mark Rogers does. And then Illinois and then Nebraska. So I think proximity played a lot into UCLA and USC's three protected games according to Mark Rogers. So now let's go with Golden Blue Dude's three protected games. First up, Ohio State. I also have Michigan, of course. You have to protect that game. Also, Penn State. I like that. That's a good rivalry. But I switched out Indiana for Michigan State. I think that game needs to be protected more than Ohio State and Indiana. So there's our first difference. Next up is Michigan. Once again, very similar. I have Ohio State protected, of course. One of the best rivalries. Michigan State. In-state rivalry. And then Minnesota. That is a great rivalry that needs to be protected. I would most certainly protect that over Rutgers. That really didn't make any sense. But really just one game difference on that one. Next up is Michigan State. Ours are very different on this one. Now we both have Michigan as a protected rivalry. That's a kind of a duh decision right there. But other than that, he has Maryland and Purdue. I have Ohio State and Penn State. I think those are better rivalries, and I think those three games as far as Michigan State, Michigan, Michigan State, Penn State, Michigan State, Ohio State, needs to be played every year. So big difference with Michigan State between me and Mark Rogers. What about Penn State? Remember, he has Maryland, Ohio State, and Rutgers. Well, I agree with Ohio State and Maryland, but I have Michigan State with Penn State. So their three protected games for me would be Michigan State, Ohio State, and Maryland. The next team, of course, is Maryland. He had Penn State, Rutgers, Michigan State. I had Penn State, Rutgers, and Indiana. So instead of Michigan State, I swapped that out for Indiana. I think that makes a lot more sense because I like Michigan State, Penn State better than Michigan State and Indiana. So I gave Indiana to Maryland. Next up is Indiana. He had Purdue, Ohio State, and Northwestern. I, of course, stuck with Purdue. That's an in-state rivalry. And then, of course, Maryland. I just mentioned them. And then Rutgers. I'm trying to make the best out of a weird situation, and I think that would be the best three games to protect for Indiana. What about Rutgers? Well, for Rutgers, he had Maryland, Penn State, 
State and Michigan. I have Maryland, Indiana, and Purdue. I think that makes a little bit more sense. So now we're getting into some big time differences between me and Mark Rogers. Now we're headed to the west side of the Big Ten. The next team is Minnesota. He has Wisconsin, Iowa, and Purdue, which I like all three of those. But I have Iowa, Wisconsin, and Michigan. I think Minnesota and Michigan deserves to be protected more than Minnesota and Purdue. That's just my opinion. The next team is Iowa. He has Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Nebraska. I also have Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Nebraska. So we agree perfectly on that one. The next team is Illinois. He has Northwestern, of course, in-state, then UCLA and Nebraska. I also have Northwestern, the in-state rivalry, UCLA and Nebraska. So I agree 100% with that one as well. Next team is Purdue. He has Indiana, in-state rivalry, Minnesota and Michigan State. That's not bad. I like it. For Purdue, I have Indiana, in-state rivalry, Wisconsin. That's a good one. And then Rutgers. I know that one doesn't make a lot of sense. Michigan State, Purdue is a good rivalry, but I'd rather have Michigan State, Penn State than Michigan State, Purdue. So I gave Rutgers to Purdue. Next up is Wisconsin. He had Minnesota, Iowa, and UCLA. The UCLA one, that's the one that didn't make sense to me. I had Minnesota, Iowa, and Purdue. I think Purdue would make a lot more sense as a protected game over UCLA, but I understand what he was doing. Next up is Northwestern. This one's very tricky because Northwestern really doesn't have any great rivalries. He has Illinois, the in-state rivalry, Indiana, that is close proximity and a decent rivalry, and then USC, another proximity pick in my opinion. For me, for Northwestern, of course, I have Illinois, the in-state rivalry, but I got UCLA and USC for Northwestern. I like the proximity for both of those teams, and I don't see any other game that's important enough to override helping UCLA and USC for travel. The next team is Nebraska. Nebraska is tough to pick because they don't have any true rivalries. They do have their budding rivalry with Iowa. And Mark had Iowa, USC, and Illinois. I also had Iowa, USC, and in Illinois. So I agree with Mark Rogers on that one. The next team is UCLA. So for UCLA, he had USC, Illinois, and Nebraska. For UCLA, I had USC, Illinois, and Northwestern. But either or, that doesn't really make that much difference. And then finally, USC. Of course, for USC, you have to protect UCLA, and that's what he did. UCLA, Nebraska, Northwestern. And for me, USC, that's exactly what I had. UCLA, Nebraska, and Northwestern. So on some of these, we did agree on, but a lot of this, we did not agree on. So y'all let me know in the comments section which protected three games games did you agree with the most? Mark Rogers or going to Blue Dude? You know, we're not going to have some type of argument over this. I'm just curious to think what you guys think about this. And if you have better suggestions for three protected games for each of these teams in the Big Ten, let me know in the comments section. That's all I got for, for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next show.